Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 2.2. We're going to talk about measuring. Um, make sure we get the extra decimal compared to what we're used to. Um, states of matter, shape of the states of matter, movement of states of matter, and filling a container of states of matter. That's it. Let's boogie. All right. Measuring has a number, an unnumbered, and an estimate. So what that means is you see on this ruler, we have a numbered part, whee, an unnumbered part, ooh, line. And then we have an estimate. So you can see there's a space in between there. So we can do one more better than that. Okay. Show one centimeter. No, 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 no. There's one centimeter. Show 1.9 centimeters. No, 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 no. Now here's the thing. I really showed 1.0. My number is 1. My unnumbered is right on there. And then my estimate is smack dabby dab 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 on there. And this one, my numbered is 1. My unnumbered is 9. And I'm smack dabby dab dab on there. Okay. Show 1.99. Let me see if I made my pen a little smaller. I can't. So I'll change color at least. 1.99 is not right on the 2. It's going to be just a smidgen behind. 1.99. You see how you can tell that's 1.99 and not the others? Why can't I show 1.99999999999999? I can't tell it. I just misspelled it out. Ah, get back here. I can't tell 1.999 from 1.99, just say 6, right? So if you're within 1 or 2, you're fine. But if you're not within 1 or 2, you're not fine. Okay. So basically, you got to give an extra number compared to what you've been asked to do all your life. Graduated cylinders. Mark 31. So here's 30. Here's 40. Here's 35. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 31. So remember to do 31. There's 31. It'll be a little bit above. Remember, it's the lowest part of the curve. 33.5. 31, 32, 33.5 would be right here in the middle. Give a little smile. Mr. Smile. Do 33. Point, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we can do 33.57. 33. Oh, I can't. Oops. Um, I can't do that because I can't because I can't tell 33.57 from something three away, right? From like 33.54. Right? You just can't tell that. Okay. So basically, numbered, unnumbered, and an estimate. Solids are packed in tightly. Bam, 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 bam. Um, that means, notice here, it says it cannot be squashed. Unsquashable. Man, is my unsquashable. Their move is vibration, shaking. They do move. So these particles in here kind of... Remember, they have so much movement, but they're bumping into each other. If you remember in class, I was talking about how you hit the wall on the desk if you're stuck in that um, one small space. So they do move, but they stay in the same spots. Okay. The shape and volume are constant. So see this guy right here? He's a cube. He's not going to change to be something else. Okay. The volume is constant. It doesn't fill the container. Does not fill the container. Liquid. Uh, packed in tightly. Just like the other one. See how it's packed in tightly? Um, translational movement. It means it moves across each other. It means this dot could go... See how it's moving across other ones? It can do that. Solids never do that. Okay? So they move across each other. The shape changes. So if I poured this into um, 
glass looked like this, right, it would change. I'll get back here. It would change into being, right, it would be triangle shape instead of uh, cylinder shape. The volume is constant. That means it does not fill the container. Gas, mostly empty space. See space? I can write the word space. Translational motion and fast spreads out. Okay. The shape changes and the volume changes, which means it does. Fills the container. Okay. So review. Measuring requires an estimation. So the numbered value, unnumbered. An estimation. If shape and volume are constant, it's a solid. If volume only is constant, it's a liquid. Notice volume is the difference between solids and liquids. And if neither are constant, it's a gas. And know the motions. Vibrates, translational, and shooting all over the place. Wasn't this a nice quick one? Now, I always get the toothpaste question. What's toothpaste? Okay. So if I squirt toothpaste on a table, if it was a liquid, it would flatten out into a puddle of toothpaste. So because toothpaste holds its shape, toothpaste um, holds its shape, and toothpaste does not fill the container, doesn't expand or contract. Guess what? Toothpaste sitting on a brush. Ah, get back here. I'm going to throw something. Solid. Woohoo! That's it. So I will say two, 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 toodles.